everybody please mute yourself and you can put it on uh, uh, in the chat box i'll be monitoring the zoom chat box all right so let me start sharing the screen i hope this screen is available okay yes sir, yes, sir. raise the thumb all right all right perfect everybody please mute yourself and you can put it on uh, uh, in the chat box So here, let me start with the rule number 27 onward. All right. And just a minute. I'll take one more minute to settle down. The chat, I'm not able to see, that's a problem. Anyway, so if required, then the we'll go through the chat first uh, let me go through the lecture so uh, those who have attended and those who are aware just it's a revision for you guys so i'm quickly going excuse to... me sir yeah sir uh, someone has messaged me that they are unable to join sir due to the limit in zoom sir okay so then then uh, they can join on the youtube <laughs> that is the whole purpose okay and uh, you must be wondering how to give you the link of youtube Okay, so just a minute. So please share with them. They can use the channel or you can they can have a look at this. All right. It's all first come first of basis. All right. So I hope things are settled. Okay, so maybe here yeah, Zoom is having the limitation. That was the whole idea also, just to test. Okay, so let me start. Here, uh, we are talking about vessel not under command. And the vessel not under command has uh, two all-round red lights in a vertical line. Okay. Two all-round red lights in a vertical line where the best can be seen. All right. And then we are talking about two balls or similar shapes. So here I have just taken the picture from a vendor. This is the kind of ball. The color of the ball will be black. Diameter will be around 0 0.6 meter at least. Okay. And this NUC and uh, you should be knowing uh, the NUC means uh, a vessel which, because of some exceptional circumstances, is unable to maneuver as required by the rules. All right. So exceptional circumstances is rudder is broken, uh, propeller is missing, even sailing vessel, uh, be calm. So these are the examples of NUC. So NUC, you will have this symbol or uh, these lights, which is two all-round lights in a vertical line where the best can be seen. And uh, you will have two balls, that is two black balls or similar shapes. When making way through water, of course, side lights and stern light. Nowhere in the rule it says about masted light because some ship have masted light, some don't. All right. So this is NUC, not making way through water. In this picture, you can see there are two black balls hanging. In the night, there are two red lights. And this is not making way through water. Now, if NUC start making way through water, it will have side lights and piston lighter. So here, you can see 
okay this is the ahead view so maybe this is the master light the vessel looks like this all right so this is the ahead view the starboard view will be like this the port will be like this suppose this is the propeller and from a stern you will see like this so these are the lights from ahead from a starboard from port and from a stern and we can say that this is nuc not under command making way through water there is uh, no indication of length whether less than 50 meter or probably more than 50 meter all right so i hope uh, that is clear now we'll talk about yeah this is uh, not under command and you see not making way for water whether you see from ahead whether you see from a starboard boat or a stern you will see only these two lights that is two red lights in a vertical line where the best can be seen all right so let's move to the next and next is the ram ram is restricted in her ability to maneuver and that is because of the nature of work whether it's a dredger or uh, doing ship to ship transfer or the vessel engaged in laying picking up on navigational marks etc that is ram here for ram it says that uh, there will be three all round lights let me just mark here three all round lights in a vertical line where the best can be seen by the way this is a very uh, standard phrase in a vertical line where the best can be seen and highest and lowest will be red highest and lowest will be red and the middle one will be white so these are the ram lights by the way these lights are for any ram vessel except mine clearance operation and for mine clearance will be having other lights all right so uh, day shape will be a uh, ball diamond and ball you can see here all right when making way through water then you will be having mastered lights that means there could be one mastered light there could be more than one mastered light because the vessel if it is vessel more than 50 meter in length there will be two mastered lights one forward one aft and so on. side lights stern lights okay then at anchor if a ram is at anchor then ram signal and this is the ram signal by the way and uh, we can call it red white red red white red that is the ram signal plus anchor signal whatever the lights are anchor that we have already covered and if required i'll be doing it again okay so here this is uh, the ram vessel i think uh, in this three dimension way uh, you can understand things better so this is ram and it is less than 50 meter making way through water so here uh, there are ram lights and this is less than 50 meters then there is one masthead light forward then it is having uh, side lights which uh, i'm showing port and starboard both also from one side you will see only the say starboard light here and stern light also so this is the way uh, we can express we can try to understand that this is ram less than 50 meter in length making way through water okay give me reaction raise the thumb if you guys have understood okay so that i have some idea i don't want the lecture to be one sided okay now i'm monitoring chat on uh, youtube as well as uh, i'm monitoring chat on uh, zoom also so you can just put whatever if you need any all right so let's move on 
So this is ram less than 50 meter in length, making way through water. And now let's talk about a ram not making way through water. If we are talking about vessel restricted in our ability to maneuver and is not making way through water, then of course this is going to be simply the ram lights, whether you see from ahead, a starboard port or a star. Okay. Now let's talk about ram less than 50 meter in length, making way through water. So this is less than 50 meter in length. Now it is very easy for you to visualize that there is going to be one masthead light and then the ram lights. Ram light, it is not necessary that it will be in the, uh, just below this, it could be slightly here also. Okay, so this is one masthead light here and sideways. So uh, here, from a starboard side, you will see like this. From a starboard side, suppose this is your ship. Suppose, okay, sometimes it is difficult. Yeah, suppose this is your vessel, this is your forward master light, this is the starboard view, this is your propeller, and you will see uh, these ram lights. Similarly, let's talk about the port one. The port one, yeah, it will be like this. So this is the port light. And the stern, yeah, you from a stern, you will see only the stern light and the ram lights. So these ram lights are common in all the view. Rest, you got to add from ahead, starboard port, and stern. All right. So here we are talking about uh, another one, the REM, which is probably 50 meter or more and making way through water. Then what is the addition? Addition is we are having these light, one forward, one aft. So, so from a starboard, we are having this was forward, this is aft. And from port view, suppose this is propeller, this is aft, this is forward. And the stern, the stern remains same. All right. So let me know in the chat box, is it clear? This is a ram, probably 50 meter or more making way through water. Simply, let me come here, let me just, yeah. One second. Here, this is ram less than 50 meter. So if you're talking about ram more than 50 meter, you will be having one white light here, that's it. And you can think of like uh, from which side you are able to see. So here, this is ram less than 50 meter. If the ram is probably more than 50 meter, let me type here, let me write it here, probably more than 50 meter, then you'll be having one masthead light here. And that's it. And rest of the lights will remain same. Okay. So from RAM, we'll move to the towing vessel. So this is a, a part and vessel engaged in towing operation. So you know that you have already studied about towing vessel. So the towing vessel at time can also be can also be a RAM. So part and vessel plus towing. So obvious, of course, it is going to show the towing light plus the ram light. In the ram light, we have already discussed that these are the ram lights. And how do we say these ram lights? Let me go back here. Three all round lights in a vertical line where the best can be seen. The highest and lowest will be red and the middle shall be white. Okay. So this is the tug engaged in towing operation. And you know the towing lights. All right, uh, two masthead lights in a vertical line. If the length of the tow is less than 50 meter 
and the length of the toe is 200 meter or less length of the towing vessel is 50 meter or less so uh, it will be having the, these two master lights in a vertical line plus uh, side lights plus stern light plus the towing light. and by the way just i have shown this this is the towing light now if uh, it is ram also obviously there will be addition so these are the towing light just now i discussed and now let me mark with uh, this with the red color the ram lights these are the ram lights that's it so it's pretty easy to remember if you try to correlate say towing vessel plus ram so this is the pardon vessel towing and also engage in uh, pardon vessel engage in towing operation plus restricted in her ability to maneuver now this is the important one and uh, uh, they have asked in IME examination one fellow was asking perhaps so this was not covered with the one or two division this has been covered so vessel engage in dredging or underwater operation okay so let me uh, just it can be a dredger dredger means vessel engage in dredging or vessel engage in underwater operation uwo in short i am writing it all right and this is also ram dredger and underwater operation and when restricted in her ability to maneuver then it is going to have the ram lights and these ram lights are pretty simple okay the same light which i have already discussed the ram lights are uh, red white red again i am repeating or the two shapes uh, or the shapes which is black uh, ball diamond and ball and the color is black so the dredger or vessel un in underwater operation will have the ram lights plus plus and that is important uh, just to show the obstruction side you'll be having two red lights in a vertical line two red lights or two balls okay day signal is two volts so it's so it shows the obstruction side maybe this is the side where the dredging operation is going on there is a gear and the vessel is trying to uh, clear or doing the dredging operation then the safe side obviously the green color is uh, known to be a safer side so to uh, to green to all round yeah that's the correct way two all round green lights or two diamonds so diamond means safe green means safe red means obstruction and ball means obstruction so after this study uh, let me show you some pictures of the dredger in operation so this is the dredger it is picking up the mud and going through and just throwing the mud, clearing the depth. Similarly, this is another type of dredger, and you see there are the gears, and the, they must be having this lengthy gear. So how it works? This is the dredger or vessel uh, engaged in underwater operation, less than uh, 50 meter, less than 50 meter. This is restricted in her ability to maneuver because of the dredger and ram with obstruction on the starboard side so here uh, that's very simple actually just uh, let me just uh, remove these lights so that you have some idea so it is making way through water so first of all making way this is the ahead view these are the uh, side lights so if you see from right ahead this will be your port light this will be your starboard light and this is ram so ram there will be three lights. These are the ram lights. Now, the vessel is less than 50 meter. This is going to be one mastered light. Okay, and the obstruction lies on the starboard side. So this is your starboard side. So there will be obstruction here. You can mark these lights. And uh, if the obstruction is on the starboard side, the port side is safe. So this is port side. That is how we can, you know, express these lights. Similarly, what will be the starboard view? Because the obstruction lies on the starboard side, these two 
all round red lights will be viewed from starboard. I think uh, I can just show you here. So maybe the dragon will look like this. This is the forward master light. These are the dragon light. And there is obstruction here. And on the port side, it will be like this. This is propeller. This is the forward master light, of course. So uh, because of the restriction of the space, I'm trying to show this way. Now the stern, this is the vessel, the stern, this is the starboard side, and this is port side. So there is obstruction on the starboard side. Okay, sorry. Uh, with obstruction on the starboard side. Yeah, there is obstruction on the starboard side. These are the lights will be visible. So if we are having uh, this obstruction was on the starboard side from the starboard, if you are having the obstruction on the port side, yeah, nothing else. So these uh, lights will exchange. These lights will, will just exchange. And now we know that the obstruction is on the both side. Okay, so nothing much. Again, uh, let's talk about this dredger uh, in underwater operation, probably 50 meter or more. All right, and, and the ram with obstruction on the starboard side, making way through water. So this ramp is probably 50 meter or more. So what is the difference? So here you are having one master light instead of one master light, if you are having two master light like this, so one forward, one aft, and the aft is higher. That shows that the length is probably 50 meter or more. Then this is your dredger or vessel engaged in underwater operation, probably 50 meter or more, and it is from a starboard side making way through water. As usual, if the obstruction is from starboard, if the, if, if the obstruction is on port side, what you have to do, we will exchange these lights. All right, guys, give me a reaction. All right, so I can understand. Yeah, you have followed. And don't worry, I'll be sharing this PDF so that you can revise at a faster rate. Then let's talk about uh, dredger or a vessel engaged in uh, underwater operation and this is also ram and that could be at anchor and with obstruction so this is how uh, it will look so this is a dredger and it is uh, it could be underway or at anchor all right so these are the ram lights and this will show the obstruction sorry this is obstruction and this is safe side for examination purpose, if you want, you can do the, this kind of a sketch just to show that this is the dredger or vessel engaged in underwater operation. You can repeat it again. And uh, this is also RAM, which is restricted in her ability to maneuver. And uh, this is uh, underway or at anchor. Oh, whether it's uh, moving or at anchor, it will have uh, with these obstructions. You can draw this way an exam. Okay. All right. So let me just move on to another one. Now, due to uh, some uh, size restriction, because the vessel is pretty small and it is difficult for the vessel to exhibit all sorts of light, and there is a vessel engaged in diving operation. Usually the vessel engaged in diving operations are the one which they call it when there is some survey or there is some issue just to inspect the bottom. So if this is a vessel which is engaged in diving operation, 
uh, let me just underline here vessel engage in diving operation then of course it is going to have these lights by the way there is no the signal here a uh, black uh, ball a diamond ball only these lights and the instead of that uh, day signal you will have a rigid a rigid a rigid uh, let me repeat again a rigid a replica of flag alpha a rigid ka kya matlab hai this flag is not you know just hanging there is a something maybe the spring maybe it is made up of some uh, hard material rigid replica of flag alpha and the height should be not less than 1 meter why because somebody should be able to see that there is a diver here okay diver may be down below uh, and you know the meaning of the flag alpha it simply mean that uh, i have a diver down and uh, keep clear of it. okay any question you can put it on the chat box before i move on to another type followed give me reaction so that i understand that you guys are following okay perfect okay now i'm having uh, this uh, uh, mine clearance vessel mine clearance vessel we call it vessel engage in mine clearing operation okay somebody may say mine sweeper as well and uh, especially the foreign textbook they may say uh, mine sweeper or mine clearance the same thing so whether it is at underway or at anchor there will be three all round green lights or three black balls okay the positioning of these green lights will be one at the four mast head so this is the forward mast head and there will be green light here okay and then there is a yard yard means a stick okay and at each end of the four yard so on the four mast itself there is there is going to be another yard another length and there will be two green lights here so this is the signal for mine clearing operation oh mine clearance vessel that means vessel engaged in mine clearing operation and what does it mean it simply mean that it is dangerous for another vessel to approach within 1000 meter okay let me just correct this spelling sometime because of the typing just okay so mine clearance vessel you got to be just uh, you got to maintain at least 1000 meter distance it is unsafe so here in this uh, picture this is a sketch a rough sketch which gives you idea the mine clearance vessel underway that means whether it is a stopped or it is making way it is going to have these lights these are the side lights stern lights in addition to that it is going to have mine clearance vessel light okay now the the day signal you can have a look the mine clearance the three black balls as i said near four mast head one will be at the four mast head that means this one and two at the four yard there will be two walls here so this is the signal for mine clearance vessel okay so somebody is asking what is the difference uh, all right uh, is there any difference between mine clearance vessel and vessel engaged in dredging yeah a vessel engaged in dredging is doing the dredging operation and mine clearance vessel will be probably a naval vessel or some other vessel which is engaged in mine clearing operation which is uh, more tricky all right the signals are different operations are different 
and the severity is also different. Now, mild clearance vessel probably 50 meter or more. What will be the ahead view? Ahead view is pretty simple. Uh, these are this is the foremast and this is the four yard light. And uh, uh, this is a port light, this is a starboard. All right. And this is probably 50 meter or more. That means there will be uh, this is forward mastered light, this is aft mastered light. All right. So what will be the starboard view? The starboard view will be like this. Uh, th this is propeller. Okay. And uh, this is aft, this is forward mastered light. And this forward signal, these two lights will be here overlapped. Actually, instead of uh, uh, two mastered light, they will be sort of overlapping. Some and, and some of the car, what they show, they will show only one light. Yeah, that is fair enough. But uh, uh, honestly, when you will see here, when you see this from a starboard side, the other light also, since this is all round light, little bit might be visible unless until you are exactly at 90 degrees. All right. So that's what I'm trying to show that these two lights are overlapped. So this is the starboard view. And likewise, the, the port view will be like this. The port view, this is aft, this is forward, the ship is like this, this is your stern. And of course, the stern, that's pretty simple. So this is mine clearance vessel, probably 50 meter or more and underway. Remember, we need to say that this is underway. Underway means whether it is stopped or whether it is moving, even the vessel is stopped, waiting, drifting, that time also it is going to show these lights, side lights and star lights. Because some ships, it is uh, specifically mentioned that they will exhibit side lights and stern light only when they are making weight. So you really need to be careful. All right. So this is a mine clearance vessel at anchor. By the way, anchor lights were already discussed. That uh, here, let me show you. Okay. Pardon vessel underway or at anchor. Vessel engaged in mine clearing operation will have the light of power drain vessel underway or at anchor. All right. So anchor lights, anchor lights are pretty simple. Uh, there will be one forward light, all round light. And uh, if it is more than 50 meter, there will be one light aft at, at lower level. And if the vessel is more than 100 meter, there will be deck lights, working deck lights. Anyway, I'm going to cover it again. All right. Then we have a CBD, that is vessel constrained by a drop. And uh, underway. Yeah, CBD is also underway. Well, uh, the lights are pretty straightforward. This is pardon vessel light plus three all round red lights in a vertical line where they best can be seen or a cylinder by the way these lights are optional because the rule says it may and uh, i had already covered this vessel after pardon vessel so let's move to the next one the next is vessel engaged in pilotage duty so this is pilot vessel underway or vessel engaged in pilotage duty so we say white over red these are the two lights a vessel engaged in pilotage duty will have uh, two all round lights in a vertical line the above one will be white and the lower one will be red and it is underway then it is going to have side lights and star lights okay as a memory aid we say white over red pilot ahead white over red wrp white over red pilot ahead or wrp we require pilot whatever so uh it's up to you how you, you would like to remember all right by the way there are no masthead lights 
because pilot vessel uh, can be a vessel which doesn't have any master line. All right. So pilot vessel at anchor, that is also pretty important. We'll be having these lights, pilot vessel lights, which are white over red. And then it will be having the anchor lights as per rule 30. So this is your pilot vessel underway. And uh, for sake of simplicity, I have shown uh, these lights also. It is having uh, side lights, stern light plus pilot vessel light, which is a WRP. We require pilot white over red. By the way, the pilot vessel, we also have this word, which is uh, pilot written. Okay, so the pilot vessel at anchor and the pilot vessel underway. Pilot vessel underway means it is not anchor, it is moving. It's as simple as that. It is. It may be moving or it may be stopped or drifting, but it is not at anchor. So this is what we have to say, the pilot vessel underway. Okay, now uh, these are the lights. Uh, let me just uh, describe again. Pilot vessel underway will have uh, white over red side lights plus system light. Now I will show you the lights of fire uh, down vessel at anchor. Okay, so that you have some idea. So this is a pilot vessel at anchor. So it will be having the pilot vessel light plus anchor light, which is one uh, light, or it will be having a ball. So this is a pilot vessel at anchor. Okay. So here, let me just uh, describe the uh, lights. This is pilot vessel, vessel engaged on pilot duty underway. That means uh, it is waiting or it is moving, whatever, but it is not at anchor. That time you have pilot vessel light plus uh, underway. That means side lights and stuff. Now the starboard view, the starboard view is uh, simple. This is the starboard view. Okay, this is suppose this is a propeller. So this is the forward master light or whatever. And port view will be like this. This is the propeller. Western view will be like this. Okay, somebody is asking, is there any length restriction on pilot vessel? No, there is nothing. The rule says clearly pilot vessel in the region. Usually this uh, pilot vessel is a small vessel. So there is no length restriction. There is no masthead light to indicate whether it's more than 50 meter or less than 50 meter. All right. So somebody is asking what is the day signal of uh, vessel engaged on pilot is duty? Yeah, you should be knowing your mouse signal. What is flag hotel? If you can type. Okay. Actually, call rec doesn't say clearly what is the day signal, except that the pilot vessel will be having this pilot written but uh, usually there is a pilot flag. All right, so vessel engage in pilot duty less than 50 meter length and an anchor. Okay, somebody was asking about length restriction. Uh, when there is underway, there is no length restriction, but if we talk about at anchor, and you know it very well, a vessel at anchor will have the lights of anchor light also, the pilot vessel plus anchor light. And if the length is less than 50 meter, you are going to have one mastered light. So these are the pilot light plus one light here. The starboard view will be like this. Suppose this is a vessel at anchor. This is the anchor light here. And these are the pilot lights. 
Similarly, the port view will be like this. This is the forward one, and this is the aft one. Or starboard, stern, it will look like this. All right. So here we have been uh, consistently discussing about the light set anchor. All right. By the way, this is vessel engaged in piloted duty more than 50 meter. More than 50 meter, then there has to be one uh, light forward, second aft. This is the starboard view. And these are the pilot vessel lights. Okay, usually, so at anchor, yes, uh, you can differentiate, but underway, there is, you cannot. Okay. So now, Pilot vessel is underway. So underway covers both, whether it's start or making way. All right. So now, let me just uh, cover uh, anchor vessel so that we have almost uh, all the lights covered okay so this way anchor vessel vessel at anchor and the vessel at anchor okay so vessel at anchor i think it is better to draw on the starboard side that makes the life simple and pretty easy so here let me have a imaginary vessel, suppose this is the vessel, and I'm trying to show the bulbous bow, just to indicate, this is the stern, oh my. and let me show the accommodation. There is a red color looks little, yeah, okay, fair enough. This accommodation I can paint white. Please help me, just take off. So this is the vessel at anchor. And the rule says simply that in forward part and all round white light. So the forward part is here and we are going to have all round white light here. Okay, so that's it. And at or near a stern, at that lower level, there will be another one. Okay. Yeah. So it simply means this vessel is uh, more than 50 meter. This uh, is length is more than 50 meter because the rule says clearly if the less if less than 50 meter only one mask only one light. Only this light for length less than 50 meter. All right. And then if the length is more than 100 meter, then that means all working deck lights. So if the length is greater than 100 meter, then you will be having, I think I can write here, uh, 
available working or equivalent deck lights deck lights all deck lights to illuminate deck if the length is more than 100 meter so uh, this is uh, i think uh, pretty clear now okay and by the way this all round light it will, will be at lower than forward okay this has to be at lower level than the forward one i'm sure uh, you can make out that this, this accommodation is at off is off and uh, this for sake of indication i think i can put a proper yeah you know it very well uh, this is the forward part and this is off So this is the vessel at anchor. If the length is more than 100 meter, then you will be having all deck lights. By the way, uh, the day signal is one black ball. That is called anchor ball. that is the day signal and that will be in the forward part the black ball hanging here all right guys uh, give me a reaction So, I can see, yeah, these are the vessel at anchor. Now, vessel aground. Let me just uh, copy this. And now, vessel aground, let me just uh, explain vessel aground okay so vessel aground will be having all the anchor lights like these are the anchor lights anchor lights whatever we have plus there will be two all round red lights in a vertical line or three balls plus i think uh, let me just put it here we'll be having these lights anchor lights plus it will be having three all round red lights okay the all round red lights no two all round red lights sorry two all round red light in a vertical line or it will be having three balls in daytime in daytime it will be having three balls in a vertical line so let me just mark one two and three that you got to be careful okay three walls or two red lights two all round red lights in a vertical line where the best can be seen that is the vessel aground so where you are going to put you know these anchor lights that uh, if the vessel is more than 50 meter, you'll be having one uh, uh, all round light forward and one all round light up, which has, has to be at the lower level. Then you'll be having these lights. 
and uh, these lights okay sorry and the lights or uh, you will be having three shapes this one Somewhere here, wherever, three all round. That's it. That becomes a vessel at the round. Okay, just let me go through any comment. All right. Akash Woods is asking, sir, if it is a stop, it will not show side lights and it's in lights. Okay, I don't know which vessel you are referring. Okay, are you referring the pilot vessel? Uh, pilot vessel, even if it is a stop, but underway, it has to show the side lights and stop. Okay, now I was asking pilot vessel more than 50 meter. Can you please explain? Yes, we are talking about at anchor. So this is a vessel engaged in piloted duty less than 50 meter. You know it very well, less than 50 meter, it is going to have one light here, one forward mastered light. Okay, I had you like this. Try to correlate this, this starboard view with this anchor light. Okay, this is the starboard view. You are having one forward light here, one up light, okay? Now, if it is a pilot vessel, all you have to do, just add, just add uh, white over red, that's it. It become a uh, pilot vessel at anchor and length more than 50 meters. All right. Is that clear now? And that is what exactly I have tried to show. Vessel engage in pilotage duties more than 50 meter in length at anchor. All right. Now, vessel at ground, there will be anchor lights as usual, plus two all round red lights in a vertical line where the rest can be seen, and also three black bars. And that's it. That covers all the lights and shapes uh, which are. Uh, which you will see in your uh, examination paper. Then I think uh, let's talk about signal or should we plan it next? The signals are pretty simple. I think we'll, let me just cover here. Signals. Signals are pretty straightforward. Okay, signals. Signals are in the form of short blast. Short blast and prolonged blast. So short blast means uh, like dead. The duration is one second. The duration is one second. That is the definition. So any blast uh, which is of one second duration is short blast. 
and prolonged blast means the duration is four to six seconds. Four to six seconds. I will just write S in short. So then there is a definition of whistle. Whistle, whistle means any sound signaling appliance producing or, uh, sorry, means any sound signaling appliance capable of producing the blast which complies with the specification of NX3. All right, so let me just write here. So whistle means any sound signaling appliance appliance capable of producing loss as per nx3 by the way these are not the definition word by word but we just cover the uh, gist of that now uh, there is something bell and gong and so on. The vessel legend is, is not obliged to carry these. So that's okay. What we have to do, well, let's talk about the signals are in uh, two categories. One is maneuvering. And I will try to do this in, in, in the single slide. Maneuvering signal. Maneuvering and warning signal. Maneuvering and warning. Okay, so one category is maneuvering and warning signals, and the second category is uh, restricted visibility. The signals which have to be used in restricted visibility. Okay, so signals have two categories. So I think, yeah, I remember now last time something was covered here, but uh, okay. So let's talk about maneuvering and warning signal. These are given in rule 34. By the way, do not confuse the signal which are given in uh, rule 35, which is the restricted visibility. Restricted visibility when the vessel is in or near an area of restricted visibility cannot see other. These are when you are inside of one another. Maneuvering and warning signal when you are in sight of one another. Okay, so the first signal is about power down vessel, PD underway. And power down vessel underway, one shot blast, I am monitoring by course to the starboard. All right, one shot blast, how do I represent? I think I can represent with uh, just, this is one shot blast. One short blast. I will just represent with one circle, and this simply means I am monitoring my course to our board. Okay, pretty simple, straightforward. One short blast. Okay, short blast. All right. If you want, I can put this here also. One short blast. 
and the prolonged blast i will try to i will try to show it this way one prolonged blast with this okay like da four to six second duration short blast depth that's it and uh, i'm sure if you are editing to port so there will be two two short blast it simply mean i am editing my course to port so if as a part on vessel if you are editing course to port that time you will have these two short blast that means dead dead and if you are l operating stern propulsion that time you will be having yes in morse code that is called sierra 3 one more okay so you will be having three short blast and three short blast means i am operating stern propulsion i am operating stern propulsion all right similarly whether if you are uh, in the night and uh, you are having the lights so one flash means i am altering course to starboard two flashes means i am altering course to port and three flashes means i am operating as to propulsion all right what about uh, duration of these flash flash will be one second duration like short blast and the interval between these flashes will be one second okay the overtaking signal as per rule 19 have been discussed that i intend to overtake you from starboard side that is one prolonged and one short blast i intend to overtake you from port side sorry starboard i intend to overtake you from port side then you have two prolonged blast followed by two short blast i think i had made mistake so let me correct so if you are uh, uh, in a narrow channel and you are trying to overtake on the starboard side uh, all you have to do just add uh, just to add two prolonged blast so yahan pe kya karenge we got to add these two prolonged blast and that means uh, i intend to overtake you from the starboard side i intend to overtake you from port side okay and the vessel being overtaken has to sound one prolonged one short one prolonged one short blast which was all which all was already discussed in uh, rule number 9 now there is another one if in doubt if in doubt suppose you are in doubt and you see the other vessel you don't know what he is doing so like you are driving car then you have to do the flash so if you are in doubt then what you have to do at least five short and rapid blasts in doubt yeah at least if these five short and rapid blasts at least five that means you can sound more okay if you are in doubt if in doubt similarly you can uh, do the flash marks okay now we'll talk about uh, sound signals in restricted visibility in restricted visibility a part and vessel under way if making way then pd part and vessel making way that means uh, this pardon vessel is underway and it is making way 
then it will sound what one prolonged blast one prolonged blast not more than 2 minutes at the interval of not more than let me just write here one prolonged like da one prolonged one prolonged blast interval of not more than 2 minutes all right so that means every two minute da then before 2 minute again it is going to sound da 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 so one prolonged blast pardon vessel making way i think i can do the little copy paste or we can just represent it this way okay this is one prolonged blast pardon and vessel making way then we have pardon and vessel underway but stop the next is td underway it is just still underway underway but stop now the pardon vessel has a stop and it is not moving that time it is going to sound two prolonged blast like da and then da two prolonged blast and the interval between them same two prolonged blast interval will be two minutes so now will be two prolonged blast interval not more than 2 minute and uh between the two blast the duration will be about 2 seconds duration between of the two blast will be 2 seconds so that there is no confusion like this da da the duration between the two blast will be 2 seconds and then you have another type of vessel all sorts of tempered vessel say we talk about nuc we talk about ram we talk about cbd sailing vessel cbd sailing vessel fishing vessel fishing vessel other than trawler vessel engaged in towing operation also vessel engaged in tug and tow then you will be having two prolonged blast followed by one short blast so you can represent this way two prolonged blast followed by one short blast that's it all sorts of vessels will be having these signals all right so that's uh, pretty clear now the best part is uh, about anchor the vessel at anchor shall at intervals of not more than 1 minute ring the bell i think the anchor we need to do it uh, separately so let me just copy here with the day signal and uh, so at anchor what the vessel has to do a vessel at anchor shall at intervals of not more than 1 minute ring the bell by the way uh, usually you won't see that uh, these signals are uh, just for academic purpose i don't i have not seen any vessel ringing the bell 
So a vessel at anchor shall at intervals of not more than one minute ring the bell rapidly for about five seconds. Okay, bell. Not bell for five seconds. Well for five seconds. Okay. You have to ring the bell for five seconds. Interval at interval not more than one minute. At interval not more than one minute. Okay. And this is for vessel less than this is the vessel less than 100 meter. Any vessel is which is more than 100 meter in length shall bell shall be sounded in the fore part. And uh, uh, after ringing the bell, there will be gong for uh, shall be sounded rapidly for five seconds in the after part. All right. So the vessel is greater than 50 meter. There will be bell in the forward part and the gong gong. Shall be sounded. Gong for five second. Gong for five second after ringing the bell. After ringing bell. Okay. So the gong will be in the after part, and the gong has to be sounded uh, for five second after ringing the bell. And there is another one, uh, like uh, there is a Romeo signal, did da did, uh, one short blast, uh, one prolonged blast, and one short blast. Okay, uh, just to show the uh, position. Now, vessel at ground, vessel at ground will be having the signals which are given at anchor. And apart from that, Vessel at ground. Let me just copy here. Vessel at ground will be having uh, uh, signals for anchor. Okay. That is. Uh, bell for five seconds and gong for five seconds but apart from that it is going to have i think let me just copy there is a bell here and uh, there is gong here that means uh, you are having all sorts of uh, anchor signal and how to differentiate and then you will be having three distinct three separate and distinct stop three separate and distinct that means uh, the one which you can identify three separate and this Things stops on the bell immediately after, before, and after the rapid ringing of the bell. Okay, so that means here there is a bell here, three separate and distinct stops after ringing the bell. All right, so. Yeah, guys, trust this is clear. All right. Anyway, we'll have one more session where I'm going to cover uh, the AMU past paper. I would suggest you guys share this 2019 past paper. Otherwise, I have one paper with me. And uh, let me show you. What kind of paper is that? 
and how it was solved. Okay, so this was uh, 2019. The first question is about uh, sextant, which you got to prepare with the notes given, uh, state the adjustable errors. All right, uh, draw with the neat sketch, uh, draw the principle of eco sounder. Okay, so some error has been mentioned. This I tried to, that is how you're supposed to write. Marine eco sounder, you can write the principle, you can draw the sketch. Then there has to be second number question, which is about uh, uh, fill in the blank. Uh, usually the questions would be related to, uh, the questions will be related to your uh, bridge equipment, bridge watch keeping, say lubber load line and uh, of air bubble and deviation and the free gyroscope and the free gyroscope has three degrees of freedom and so on or the list of advantages and disadvantages of magnetic compass this has been covered now question number three onward you have the call rag so first question pretty simple straightforward state six factors which all vessels should consider while determining safe speed nothing much straightforward all you have to do just write all the six factors in determining a safe speed the following factors shall be taken among those into account then you have the next question draw the structure of irpcs colrex showing the parts and sections along with their names including rules numbers only under each so this is what he's asking and that's what you're supposed to know irpcs part a is general rule one two three part b is a steering and sailing rule and part B is divided into three section one, two, and three. Section one, any condition of visibility, rule four to 10. Section two is inside of one another, 11 to 18. Section three is restricted visibility. Part C is lights and shapes. Part D is sound and light signal. Part E is exemption. Part F is the latest one, which is verification of compliance with the provisions of convention. That is rule 39 to 41. That is how you have to answer. Then the next question is 4A, pretty simple, the straightforward uh, definition, vessel engaged in fishing vessel constrained by her draft. So vessel engaged in fishing, rule 3D defines, you can write this also, that rule 3D of Colrec defines fishing vessel. The vessel engaged in fishing means any vessel fishing with nets, lines, trawls, or other fishing operators, which restrict maneuverability, but does not include a vessel fishing with trawling lines or other fishing operators which do not restrict maneuverability. So uh, it is pretty, uh, I would say, a straightforward thing. However, however you, uh, it becomes a sort of uh, test of memory. Now the vessel constrained by a draft CVD, you got to write the vessel constrained by a draft means a vessel, the foreign vessel which because of a draft in relation to the available depth and width of navigable water is severely restricted in her ability to deviate from the course which means following. All right, now the next question in your own words, explain the duties of a stand on vessel. A stand on vessel, rule 17 defines a stand on vessel. A stand on vessel is required to maintain a course and a speed. If, if the give vessel is not taking action, a stand on vessel should take Sound at least five for short, but at least five short rapid blasts. That's now I discussed. These are the signals for uh, doubt. And if a standard vessel is so close that collision cannot be avoided by action of give the vessel alone, then a standard vessel should take such action, which will best aid to avoid collision. In crossing situation, a standard vessel shall not alter course to port for a vessel on her own port side. This is to avoid tending into each other. That's it. Now the question five, draw the lights and day signal shape displayed by the following vessel. The vessel engaged in fishing other than trawler, outlying gear, extending more than 150 meter horizontally from the vessel and making this seen from right ahead. So fishing vessel other than trawler, red over white, and uh, the gear is extending here. This is a white light. And uh, day signal is two cones with apex together where the best can be seen. All right, 
and uh, that's it. One formed the apex of it. The second one is uh, a vessel constrained by a draft seen from port side, length 75 meter. Paragni patta, whatever the length is that, lights of a pardon vessel. Okay, three, one, two, three, three, all round red lights in a vertical line. They should be optional, seen from port side. Okay, and uh, this CBD is more than 50 meter. The question says CBD length 75 meter. So obviously, one masthead light forward, another aft at the higher level. Or uh, the eastern light uh, will not be visible. This light will not be visible. That's it. The right ahead view will be like this. And that's it. That covers your 2019 paper. If you have 2020 paper, let me know. I can give you the simple solution and I'll let you know how to answer, write the model answers. Okay, don't worry, this will be shared. Apart from this, I don't, yeah, that's it. So any other concern, any other doubt, just type it. Otherwise, we'll end the session now. Nothing? All right. So I'm ending the session.